Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? This your boy JB, Trap House Boxing, back again with another video. A shout out to the whole LDDC. Y'all smash that like and subscribe button and share the video always and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's being dropped from Urban Media Fix on a regular basis. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Hit the notification icon bell so you don't miss none of this heat that's being dropped. Every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time from the LDBC. Also, make sure you hit that notification icon bell for the jab sessions, man. I know I've been saying it, but it's coming. Trust me, it's coming. So make sure you do that. And hit that like, subscribe button always. All right, now. This is the uh, post. I'm going to get my little post-fight post uh, thoughts, my little reaction from last night. Did a live stream, but I was too tired to really go uh, do a post fight reaction. But uh, let's 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 talk about it, man. Um, last night, salute to Caleb Plant, man. Hell of a performance, hell of a performance last night, man. Just you know, I was expecting uh, Caleb Plant, you know, to be doing a lot of moving around. To be honest with you, but and this is this is why it was important for me to go ahead and do a, a prediction video because. It's one thing that I uh, totally, um, I didn't forget about it. I just didn't tally it in when I was uh, trying to process the fight. You know, it's one thing I missed and uh, I forgot that Jose Uzcadizzi doesn't uh, use his jab effect a lot. He, he's not, he don't really use a jab and uh, he's not an effective jabber. And like I always say, man, when it comes down to these elite level fighters, these guys, who has everything pretty much in the tool shed? When it when it comes down to fighting those type of guys, man, you're gonna have to always remain solid with the basic fundamentals, the basic X's and O's. You're gonna have to stay always go back and be solid with that. Always, no matter what. I mean, I understand, you know, you get to a certain level from knocking people out by hooks and you know all this other stuff, but let's not forget what sets all that stuff up. You know, you didn't just go into the gym uh, learning how to just uh, throw a left, left hook first. That That's not how it worked. You know, every gym I've been to, they teach you how to throw a jab first, when, as far as punch-wise. And Jose Uzcadiz, he totally, you know, forgot about all that. He had banded, banded his jab the whole night, pretty much, until he figured out that the fight was over with, you know. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Caleb Plant didn't abandon his. I can tell you that. He hit Uzkadzi with every jab. He he had all, every jab that was to throw pretty much. Uh, I don't know if I really seen the upright jab. But I know he was tearing him up with the damn spear jabs. and You know, he the, the, the jab variation was destroying uh, <laughs> Uzkadzi. Couldn't get away from it last night. Um. You know, hit him with hit him at, hit him at will. Anytime he wanted to, all of that. And uh, sweet hand stood right there in the pocket the whole night, and just uh, thrashed through Kadzi. You know, you got a guy with a long with a with a with an inch and a half reach advantage, and you don't utilize it. And he's what about two inches taller or some crap like that. I I, I don't understand. You know, these uh, a lot of these tall fighters that like to fight small, and, and you know. You can brawl and all that stuff and, and fight small, but be educated with it. At least use a jab. But the thing is, Caleb Plant sat Uzkadzi down early in the fight, twice. Sat him down early in the fight. You know, I, me personally, I thought Caleb Plant could have finished Uzkadzi. You know, not not saying that he should just stood in the pocket and just let his hands go. He should have just picked up the, the the pace a little bit more, you know. Suddenly, slow but surely, he could he should he should have just picked the pace up a little bit more, and Uskazi would have been out of there, out of there, you know. But uh, he pretty much did the same thing all night. Uskazi didn't make no adjustments, and then Caleb Plant knew that Uskazi wasn't gonna throw any jabs, so. 
he was staying right there in, in range. It was kind of he wouldn't even do anything. He'd just be sitting there bobbing and weaving, wouldn't even, no fainting, no nothing. Just sitting there moving his head, taking little steps forward. By Caleb Plant jabbing him and, and, and moving in angles. Sudden angles. Uskazi didn't even look nowhere near. He didn't even like any. If, if a casual fan was watching this fight last night, they wouldn't even know. They would have thought that Caleb Plant was the uh, the champion. And no doubt, they would have thought that Caleb Plant was the champ last night. Uskazi looked like he was the contender. Uskazi definitely got to go back to the drawing board, like. I, I don't understand like these trainers, some of these trainers, how do you let your fighter get this to this to this level without you know being good at the basics? Well I'm not gonna say being good. I'm not gonna say that because I I'm not gonna say it. I'm saying by not utilizing the basics. Okay, Plant didn't even really he just did basic boxing. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, I mean he did. A, uh, he had a stellar, yeah, a hell of performance. But what did he do? He just did a basic boxing job. Stood right there in the pocket. Counter, rolling punches. Simple, easy work. Goose Cottage, he was too slow. Too slow. Inside game was trash. And see, that's another thing I was saying last night about how I like how I like to gauge the, the certain type of fighters that I really, really like is the guys that can do a little bit of everything. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm big on Terrence Crawford. And that's why I like guys like Caleb Plant, Tony Harrison, boxers, because I see these guys, they can do a little bit of everything. They're not just solid in one department, you know. And... um it carries you a long way, especially when you get into these these uh, elite level fights, and and they hype some of these guys up, you know, these punchers and all this stuff. And then when they get to the fight, they make them look ordinary, super ordinary. Caleb Plant took the fight right to Uskadzi right then, right in the first, soon the beginning bell, took the fight to him, immediately popping his head back with jabs. You know, and the, but the thing, Uskazi was now credit to Uskazi, he was catching Caleb Plant from time to time with the left hooks. But they were that, that was doing exchanges for the most part, like 90% of them from exchanges. It wasn't like that, he was just you know, just catching them, you know, uh, just, just catching them at will, you know. But Caleb Plant do got to tighten that defense up a little bit, especially. I seen in the middle towards the later round, he started fatiguing, you know, and that's where he was starting to get caught more often, you know. But other than that, though, you know, then in the in the mid to right, later rounds, he, he started fighting in the inside, hitting those cars with uppercuts, hooks to the body, straight short right hands like uh he 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 uh, roll roll the right hand and catch him with a right hand, you know, right there in the pocket. You know what I mean? But sometimes I thought Caleb Plant did do a little bit of unnecessary moving. He didn't move as, as much, you know, but it was in spots he didn't have to move so much. He could have just stood right there and Uskadi wasn't going to do nothing. <laughs> he could wait. Oh, yeah, he could have just stood right there and just feigned and threw a jab or two and changed his angle. You know what I mean? Instead of. Uh, just uh, moving around and, and uh, sliding on the ropes and all, because it was kind of he wasn't, he was right there in range. Like I said, he couldn't even be, he couldn't get effective in range. He was not effective in range. He's only effective in mid range. You know, and Caleb Plant could see those punches coming from a mile away. A mile away. So, but good fight last night. So Caleb Plant, 
David Benavidez, they're having words like it was before. And uh, I'm pretty, I'm assuming that's going to be the fight next. After David Benavidez get rid, gets rid of Jay Leon Love, they just, Jay Leon Love and, and the PBC just throwing, throwing them to the wolves. He, but this, I mean, like I said, Jay, Jay Leon Love, I mean, what could he do at 168? He's a tweener, man. I don't believe he he's a, he's not an elite level guy at 168. Jaylen Love is a guy that should have fought at 160. But whatever. To me, I just think he's just too small for 168. Too small. But that's pretty much it, though, folks. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel, like, share the video. And I and also man be waiting on that 1982 heavyweight series from me and Blood Boxing man, that's coming man. So y'all make sure y'all go to Blood Boxing Returns, hit that notification icon bell so you don't miss this throwback retro boxing talk from me and my boy Blood Boxing. All right folks, that's all I got for y'all man. Y'all have a good day. I'll let y'all.